in this tutorial we would be learning about integration testing so let us see what is integration testing it may be defined as a type of testing where related software modules are tested to find out defect in interaction between related modules of the software it is very important type of testing what happens in real time scenario is that different modules are developed by different developers and then the interrelated modules need to interact with each other properly and also needs to be properly tested so that proper interaction between different related modules is there to serve the overall purpose of the application from interview point of view there may be many questions from integration testing so it is very important for for professionals who want to make their career in manual testing to understand the concept of integration testing with all attention since it is a big topic in itself many questions can be prepared on this topic so it is important to understand all the concept with all the attention now generally we need to focus more on data flow between different related modules which helps us in to identify whether related modules are serving the purpose for what for which it has been developed In this tutorial, we'll see all these things in detail. What generally happens in real type scenario, in practical scenario, is that different modules are developed by different mod developers, and there is need to test whether there is proper interaction between these modules. and whether there is proper data flow between the modules or not it is very important part of testing because first of all it is done it is not done at unit level and secondly has very bad impact on the application if there is something wrong in the interaction between the modules so testing professional needs needs to do this type of testing very carefully one more thing to be noted here is that many times there are changes in requirement from client side and many times all the features are not unit tested in such in i integration testing is of great help otherwise also it is very important because interaction between modules should be proper only main purpose of a is of the application will be served only when there is proper interaction between the module if we discuss this issue in layman term we can say that creating for creating different modules different developers can develop features differently which could create problem during interaction between interfaces of modules so proper testing is required now 
let us see with the let us see with the help of an example which will help us to understand the concept of integration testing in a better way first of all we need to understand the test cases all the test cases related to integration testing and test cases related to integration testing different differs from other types of testing test cases in the sense that it focuses mainly on integration between different models and generally focused on data transfer between models so there is more focus on the interaction between different models let us see simple test case for integration testing we are taking example of an application which has three modules we are taking one simple example in order to understand it easily let us say that names of models are login page mailbox and delete mails now let us consider login page testing we do not need to focus much on login page testing because it's more likely to be covered in your testing but we need to understand how it is linked to mailbox page However, we should understand action item that needs to be performed on the login page. We need to enter valid user credentials and click on submit button and check whether next page that is appearing is mailbox page or not. Now again, we need to see in mailbox page that is properly integrated to delete mails module. Action item will be to select any email and click on detail button after click on delete button selected email should appear in trash box trash folder now there are different approaches to do integration testing which are given as below let us see them one by one big bang testing in this type of testing we need to wait for modules to be developed and integrated and tested as a unit to find out whether there is proper integration between the models or not one thing to be noted here is that unless full integration of all modules are done this type of testing is not done but there are some things that are not good about this type of testing is and that is once all the modules are integrated only then this type of testing is done and there is less time left to have detailed testing of all the modules and there are chances that some of the highly critical <coughs> <coughs> highly critical modules are not tested properly next type of testing is incremental testing this is a very important topic to be understood and there may be many interview questions that are generally asked from this topic so we should learn this topic by heart in this type of testing generally testing is done between two or more integrated modules to check that proper interaction between the modules are in place or not also it is tested that there is proper data flow between these models the process continues till all the interrelated models are integrated and tested successfully now there are two types of incremental testing approach which are given as below below let us learn them one by one first is bottom up second is top down bottom up integration testing in this type of testing what happens is that all the lower level models are integrated first then after that higher level models are tested the process continues until the time all the models which are at high level are tested now the question arises is that why this type of testing is required 
one of the advantage of using this type of testing is that we do not need to wait for all other models to be completed and we get good amount of time for testing. One of the disadvantages of this type of testing is that critical models which are tested last may be prone to defect because we do not have much time to test at that point of time once all the models are completed. Top down and integration testing. In this type of testing, top levels are tested first and then lower level models are tested. Advantage of using this approach is that all the critical models are tested first and therefore all the major flaws are identified and fixed first, which is a good thing in itself. But again, it has disadvantage. Again, it has disadvantage. But again, it had disadvantage of not, of not testing models at lower level properly. Sandwich testing. In this type of testing, we progress with we progress with mixed approach. In this type of testing, top level models are tested along with lower level models at the same time, and lower level models are integrated with top models tested as a system. It may be considered as combination of top down and bottom up approaches. It is also called hybrid integration testing. It makes use of both stuffs and as well as divers. Now let us understand what is stuffs and divers, which are very important question that is commonly asked in during interview. Stuffs and divers. In practical scenario, we know that all the models are not developed at a time, but it is developed step by step and when we are testing. So we will skip the topic at the moment, but it is important topic and we should learn it. Sandwich testing. In this type of testing, we progress with mixed approach, which we discussed earlier. So in this tutorial, we saw how we can check interaction between different various integrated models with help of integration testing. There are many questions that are asked from this topic during testing interview, so we should learn the, this concept by heart. Thank you.